Millions of people are sitting uh, in their caves, uh, terrified and projecting the worst kind of apocalypse. And so we should all just really take something away from that, tap into the inner flame, and then begin to project our, our greatest dream, because that is what will manifest. And to me, Joe, it's already done. This is already over. This dark chapter is already over. There is no forced vaccination program. There is no digitization of humanity. There is no uh, self-replicating diodes growing inside our body because of all of the chemicals and the 5G signal. Was that intended? Absolutely it was intended. Is that the agenda? Absolutely. Is it going to happen? No. Okay, uh, you are quite positive, and I'm also, but there, then is coming the doubts. How many people are we? How many are awakening? And is it enough? And, you know, but I believe that one person who is awake and aware and conscious outweighs a thousand people who are just sheeple, you know, people who are following what they're being told. Um, and then it's a whole different thing because if you say, okay, a thousand people, there are uh, 100 people who are awake, um, they win. Um, that's not happening. I see actually that the, the, the aware people and, and I'm here and you are here for this time. I said before, and I, it's so exciting to be at this time here. But, you know, the doubts are coming and but you you are positive that uh, we will win the good for so joe i'll go even further we've already won my dear friend it's over the battle is already the war is over a, a few little battles here and there but they're personal battles that need to be fought these are just the the clearing up this is the detox in the same way that this mass outbreak of a a uh, engineered pandemic is uh, an, a, an excretion event happening at the planetary level, at the cellular system. There is a detox happening because of the threshold of toxification that has occurred, mostly to do with the radiation frequencies. But the fact of the matter is a bioweapon was definitely dropped in Wuhan, China, in Qom, Iran, in the United States, and in Milan, Italy. That triggered and catalyzed a pandemic alert in the bureaucratic machinery of the multilateral governance superstructure from the United Nations to 200 health ministries to 20,000 uh, uh, general hospitals uh, to 200 million operatives at the health administration level. It's the way the dominoes falls from that centralized command and control which is why it is so dangerous to have a United Nations central control, World Health Organization, World Trade Organization. All of these diabolical central constructs do fuck all to end war. They were never set up to, to end war. They were created by these Sabbatean globalists using good academics and good philosophers to create the, the treaties and the compacts and the manifesto. But actually, if you understand the genesis of the UN, it was always set up in order to collapse the, the independence and the cultural uh, uh, majesty of all nations of people in the world into a monoculture where now, as of today, Texas farmers are screaming about the fact that ships are landing in the United States with beef from Namibia, from Southwest Africa. And yet they are being told in Texas that they have to go and kill their own cows, their own beef cattle, because we can't control the logistics. It's out of control. The animals are dying. So we've got this insane uh, planetary uh, uh, socio-ecological, socio-economic, socio-political uh, interwoven um, dream spell which is not serving the living it's only serving the fiction the dead but each one of us permissioned it and everybody who pays a tax dollar is still permissioning it and everyone who stays indoors when they're being told to by their fascist nazi government who is acting completely out of law they are also permissioning it by not challenging by not confronting this petty tyranny coming at you from your local police, your local town hall, your local municipality. I am disgusted yeah. looking out there and seeing men uh, 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 running around with masks on their face yeah. for the love of God. Where are the men in this world? Yeah. Any woman who has a husband or a brother who is wearing one of these masks in broad daylight out, out. If you're in a hospital, yes, absolutely. If you're in an ICU unit, absolutely but not when you're in Walmart, not when you're in the park, not when you're in the street. This is absurd. 
This is such a degradation of our humanity. And we're being forced into this degradation. We're being forced into a humiliation at the meta soul level. And I am disgusted at my brothers for not being men and standing up to this bullshit uh, poisoning of the uh, heart and the mind of humanity. Mm-hmm.